Welcome to section 23 of bacteria. This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Moraxella cateralis, which you can see right here. This scene will take place out in the desert near some cacti. Cactus sounds kind of like cateralis, so we've shown several cacti in the image to help you remember that this image is about Moraxella cateralis. Before we go any further, I'd like to point out the red sunset. As you hopefully know by now from our other videos, this means that Moraxella cateralis is a gram-negative organism. This is a gram stain of Moraxella. The stain is red or pink, which is why it's a gram-negative organism, and the bacteria are circular-shaped. So Moraxella is a gram-negative coccus. Okay, continuing on, notice that we've added some flowers on top of the cacti. The flowers are used as a symbol for flora, and the fact that they're up high on top of the cacti should help you remember that Moraxella is part of the normal flora of the respiratory tract. Now notice that we've added some dusty mist to the scene. Mist is a cloud of tiny water droplets, so we've used it as a symbol to represent transmission through respiratory droplets. So Moraxella is transmitted through respiratory droplets. Now that we've discussed the background, notice that we've added a character to the scene. This first character is a policeman, as you can probably tell by his badge. Notice that he's also having a hard time breathing, so he's using his inhaler. Maybe this is because of all of the dusty mist floating around in the air. Anyways, just like in other images, we've included the inhaler here to help you remember that Moraxella is an aerobic organism. I just mentioned his badge, but if we zoom up, we can see that it says Colorado State Patrol Trooper. An abbreviation for Colorado is CO, and when you combine CO with Police Department, or PD, you get COPD. So we've shown him wearing a police badge that says Colorado on it to help you remember that Moraxella cateralis is associated with COPD exacerbations. Okay, now notice that we've added two more characters to the scene. The policeman is the grandfather of these two kids, and he brought them out here to do some target practice shooting. If you've ever been shooting, you know that it can be pretty loud, so it's recommended that you wear ear protection. Some of our characters don't seem to care too much about this recommendation, but notice that the youngest kid in the scene is obediently following these instructions. The earmuffs on this child's head should help you remember that Moraxella cateralis can cause otitis media in children. This is an otoscopic image of otitis media. Notice that the tympanic membrane is bulging out towards the viewer and appears red. It's very prominent right here and right here. This is a classic physical exam finding of otitis media. Now notice that we've added two signs to the image, be safe and police shooting range. The signs in the image should help you think of sinusitis, signs for sinusitis. So Moraxella cateralis causes sinusitis. Okay, now let's discuss treatment. Notice that we've added an ammo belt around this police officer. They're at a shooting range, so this seems fitting, right? Anyways, ammo sounds like amoxicillin, so it's our symbol for amoxicillin. Amoxicillin is an effective treatment for both acute otitis media and sinusitis. We've also shown him holding this large cleaver at his side. Cleaver sounds like clavulanic, so it's our symbol for clavulanic acid. So a more potent treatment for Moraxella cateralis is a combination of amoxicillin and clavulanic acid. This is typically used when amoxicillin alone fails. Okay, now that we've covered the image, let's review with the question. A 16-month-old boy is brought to the physician due to increased irritability, fever, and poor feeding. Physical examination reveals an erythematous bulging tympanic membrane. Which of the following is the most likely causal organism? A. Moraxella cateralis B. Streptococcus pneumoniae C. Haemophilus influenzae or D, Staphylococcus aureus. Okay, hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this boy has signs and symptoms consistent with acute otitis media. The erythematous bulging tympanic membrane is the key to making this diagnosis. With this in mind, we're asked which of the answer choices is the most likely causal organism. For step one, you need to know that Streptococcus pneumoniae is the most common cause of otitis media in children. So B is the correct answer. Streptococcus pneumoniae accounts for approximately 50% of cases. Haemophilus influenzae accounts for approximately 45% of cases. And Moraxella cateralis accounts for less than 10% of cases. Staphylococcus aureus can cause otitis media, but it's much less common. So again, the correct answer is B, Streptococcus pneumoniae. And with that, you've learned everything you need to memorize about Moraxella cateralis.